Eyewitness News has learned two people are now in custody in connection with the deadly shooting in the Poconos. 15-year-old Aiden Piaz of Kunkeltown was killed. This all happened during an armed robbery in Polk Township just before 7.30 Sunday night near Squirrelwood Court. State police say three teenage boys were stopped in a vehicle at the Rainbow Terrace. Multiple people, including the shooter, approached the vehicle for what they say was a prearranged drug transaction. The shooter opened fire, robbing and shooting the teenage boys multiple times, killing one of them. An Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy learned more about the 15-year-old boy who was killed. She joins us now live in Polk Township, Monroe County, with more details. Julie? Candace, good evening. I spoke with Aiden's family today, and they are heartbroken, and rightfully so, as their brother, grandson, nephew was killed shot right here in this cul-de-sac last night. Today is a very sad day for Pleasant Valley. Sunday night, 15-year-old Aiden Paez was shot and killed in a Pocono neighborhood. Superintendent Lee LaCisco says Aiden was a freshman at Pleasant Valley High School. This is a 15-year-old. He hasn't really even lived life yet, and, and now, now his family's going to have Thanksgiving and Christmas without him. Aiden grew up in a loving home. He lived with his grandparents nearby who spoke with me off camera in their home and shared these photos. They described him as a leader, helpful and family oriented. Aiden's older brother Josh and grandparents are simply heartbroken over the, his tragic death. He was a well-liked individual, had many friends. He was part of the anti-bullying committee and he was trying out for the, uh, the basketball team. Pleasant Valley students who would like to talk about Aiden's death are urged to reach out to the school counselor. A neighbor says the shooting is out of place for their community. My heart goes out to the families, it really does. But I, I still feel safe here and it's a nice community to live in. Everybody is friendly. Um, I've never had a problem right. here. And Candace, as you mentioned, just two people have been arrested so far. This is an ongoing investigation, and troopers say that more additional arrests could be made. Reporting live in Polk Township, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News.